Hey everybody, it's Pixel, and today we're going to be making some avocado chicken wraps with ranch in them. For that, we're going to need our burrito shells, our avocado slices, chicken, chicken seasonings, which is supposed to be taco seasoning, but I don't want to use taco seasoning. We've got ranch, we've got our sour cream, we've got a couple spices of cilantro, and we have some fresh mozzarella cheese. Not really that complicated. So let's go ahead and start cooking. Okay, we've already taken our chicken and put some olive oil on it. I'm going to dump the spices in and then give it a really good rub down so we can get all the spices on all three or four pieces of the chicken I have in here. Okay, we're going to take our cast iron pan and lightly oil it just to give it a non-stick moment. And lay our pieces of chicken thigh out. So they can start cooking up for our wraps. And here's what your chicken will look like when it's near done. I'm going to be removing that from the pan and slicing it up on a cutting board. Then we can put our wraps together. Alrighty, it's time to put together our wrap. First we're going to put some sour cream on the bottom. A little more. Make a nice line down the center dash side of it. And put our chicken. Right down the center on that line. Next, we're going to put a three or four pieces of our fresh mozzarella. We're going to put a few of our avocado in there. Last but not least, we're going to break off some of our fresh growing cilantro. And just put a few little pieces in there. Don't want to put a lot. It can get overwhelming really fast. I almost forgot. Just put about a line of ranch over it. Okay, we're going to wrap this up, folding in each end, and then I'll show you what we get to do with it. All right, once our burritos are rolled up accordingly and tucked in, we are going to... Put them into our heated cast iron pan and let them cook two to three minutes on each side until they get a golden brown grilledness on each side. We're going to get our other burrito frying up and they will look nice and brown when they're done like this one does. All right, let's cut into it and see how it goes. Well, it looks pretty awesome. Best part is here though, we get to taste it. So I'll be right back and let you know how it is. I gotta say, I think I'm missing some factor in here, like maybe some spinach to cook up with it. I also think the fact that we roasted it or grilled it on each side probably thinned down everything in it. I'm just used to a fuller wrap, I guess. But I'm also going to say that all the flavors are there. It has the right kick of ranch. It has the right sour cream flavor. And the cilantro, if you like it, that is, is a good little flavor. I'm also sure if you don't like cilantro... You could simply put basil or something else that you do like, or just go with the spinach idea. Honestly, I would make this again. Maybe tweak it a little, but I would definitely make it again. So, I would say grilled chicken avocado burrito is a success. Alright, if you have any thoughts on how I made it, or what I've made, want to make it yourself, or have any, you know, comments about it, just leave me a like and a comment. And I will see you in the next video.